Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about Illuminati, a YouTube channel with about 1.6 million subs. If I'm wrong on that, I'm sorry. She basically makes similar content to Sunny V2 or Jay Aubrey, but it's more political than them. I'd say it's a little bit more on the left. It's like, it's like a left-leaning YouTube channel, right? She talks about pretty controversial things. And what happened recently is pretty, you know, mid, you know, it's not really big drama. It's almost silly, right? It's almost silly what happened until you get to the deeper parts of it, which we are going to cover later. But first I'm going to talk about the smaller part, which is a drama between her and Legal Eagle. Now Legal Eagle is like an actual like lawyer who has a YouTube channel. And he basically just kind of informs people on how things work, you know, law wise, and kind of helps people out with specific things. He's a pretty cool channel. I actually think he's, you know, it's good to have people like Legal Eagle around just to help out with a lot of things especially when it comes to you know the amount of legal action you have to take on youtube almost i feel like it's such a big thing but he's very helpful a good channel and basically what happened was one of his editors contacted Illuminati trying to, you know, ask how you use a specific editing style in, you know, an editing software. She didn't respond and he tried to get in contact through Discord to her editing team so that he could try to figure it out and didn't get a single response. So at the end of the day, he did it anyways. Now, you're probably thinking right now, who the fuck cares? And you're probably thinking, why does that matter, right? Because she doesn't own editing styles. Well, Illuminati thinks she really fucking does because she completely complained about this and got mad over a ripped piece of paper and highlighted words. She got so mad because it was just a color change. There was only a color difference. I actually don't understand how someone could get mad over an editing style as people have been doing this longer than she has. This is something that she did not come up with. And on top of that, to add on to it, she is not even the editor. She doesn't even make the script for the videos. She doesn't do any of it. She only speaks. That's all she does. She actually has no contribution to this channel compared to the surmountable amount of editors that she has. It's not like it's one editor, it's multiple. So I've come across the fact that it's multiple editors, it's not just one. So she's complaining about something that isn't even her product, right? She's not the creator of any of this stuff, and she's basically got this big fucking ego, which I didn't really, I don't know her, right? I don't know about her channel, I didn't know anything. Apparently a lot of people said she's grown an ego, but I highly doubt that. I feel like she's probably been like this for a while and it's just getting worse as she grows as a channel. But that leads us into the more recent dramas, which is a lot of different YouTube channels, a group that she was a part of that happened back in 2020 and 2021, which was a channel called Sad Milk. By my understanding, it was basically just a YouTube channel with, you know, typically like has a few content creators come together, kind of like Sleep Deprived with Jay Schlatt and a few others. And just, you know, you know what I mean? Just those kind of like content creator channels where they come together, make content together. Uh, Sad Milk is kind of similar to that is what I believe it was, them just talking about shit, right? Kind of kind of podcast-like, but not really. But basically, there was a huge drama surrounding that that got brought up during this entire drama. Apparently, a lot of these content creators who were originally part of it exposed her big time. And I'm gonna be reading through the clicks response to all this stuff, because he's, I believe, the first one that came out about it. There's a whole bunch of them out there. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. It's gonna take you to, like, pretty much all of them. But the people that were involved are gonna be the click, someone by the name of Hi I'm Wander, Oz Media, and One Topic at a Time. These are the four that I'm going to be including in this kind of mix. There's probably 10 times more people that were involved, but these are the ones that I'm going to be linking down below. One Topic at a Time put basically in a little summary of his own, and then at the end of it linked to all the other ones. If you want to check them out, you can, but I'm personally not going to be reading through all of them because it is a lot. Like, it is a whole lot. I'm basically just going to summarize it up for you after I'm done reading this piece right here. But let's just get started. So the click starts off with just, hey ya peeps, I've seen the recent drama regarding Illuminati and would like to clarify I am not affiliated with her and haven't been for over two years. I left her and her collaboration group, Sad Milk, due to similar behavior as seen in the recent events. Lashing out at friends and fans, paranoia and general poor anger management, to name a few, eventually I believe pretty much the whole group left her. The last meeting I ever had with her, she spent half an hour, I think hard to know, screaming at me for an array of random things calling me a bad friend, lazy, and a bunch of 
random accusations that didn't really have anything to do with me. There is no way you could have the resume you claim and be this fucking stupid and so on. No one even raised their voice back at her. I left along with several other members, half the group at the time. She spent the next few months spreading lies and half truths about us on the Sad Milk Reddit page and vague posts on Twitter. I still have all the screenshots. She would turn friends against you or specifically team up with people she knew didn't like you so she had allies against you. Rallying mainly banned problematic community members known to be liars and conflict seekers. When people started questioning that maybe she was the reason everyone left, there was a very convenient updigging of 11 to 14 year old videos of me. Stuff I made back when I started my channel in 2009, when I was a teenager. And as you can probably guess, some of the jokes from that time age like milk. I publicly owned up to, the, to my past mistakes and apologized doing my best to be transparent and honest about my past. She would still harp on it, ignoring the fact it had already been addressed trying to direct as much attention to it as possible, publicly stating it was a bad apology along with vague posting about it in comments on the collaboration channel. Maybe in an attempt to get people to assume I had been kicked out for poor behavior rather than leave because of her own behavior. She, assuming it was her as she had channel access, also liked to pull what I can only describe as very pity acts of revenge. For example, some people left comments on the collaboration channel saying good, that click left. They obviously got ratioed hard as people were there for the creators. She would manually go in and delete the ratio in comments, but leaving the original hate comments. She tried to gain control of my Discord when it surpassed hers in size by tossing around accusations at staff and trying to get rid of my team and replacing it with hers, giving me the ultimatum to fire my entire senior team or be publicly fired by Sad Milk myself. I was still a YouTube freshie at the time and she was quite intimidating, claiming connections and clout, reputation, and powerful friends. So everyone stayed mostly silent and had to constantly look over our shoulders for the next year. None of us even even mentioning the whole thing, we were even worried talking in our own discords, as it became apparent she had spies within our moderation ranks. We were just hoping we wouldn't have our reputation completely destroyed for simply walking away. This is just a brief summary of events. It's sad to see that she hasn't changed. Now, to go into the other people's, you know, responses, basically, I'm gonna kind of summarize it up for you in the best way possible. OT basically just kind of talks about it in the similar way uh, to the click, but a big one that I really want to talk about is Wander. He's a person who was a editor for her and got, went through just damn near a lot. But to kind of summarize all of this, she basically wanted full control of Sad Milk and just kind of forced her way into taking full control, meaning she controls videos, how they're made, what they did, and didn't really want to take into consideration everybody else's opinions on how videos should have been made. She had clear anger issues. She lashed out at everyone. And I don't mean just the click. I mean all of these people. She would lash out at people for some of the smallest things. She basically made one Wander do editing work on holidays, so he wasn't able to spend Christmas with his brother and father because of a situation that she caused. And while that was happening, she was basically going around living a luxurious life, spending thousands of dollars on food, on nice things, going to get really nice designer things, you know, nice clothing. And he was still not even getting paid. This guy was still not even getting paid while she's off doing all of these things. He was not getting his paychecks. Things were going bad for him. And of course, as I just read to you, she would basically delete comments in support of these content creators like the Click or just some of the other content creators, right? If somebody tried to shit talk these content creators, she would leave those up but get rid of the ones that were being very nice. And another example of this is a lot of the co commentary channels talking about this situation right now. A good example is uh, Sensitive Society. He actually talked about how he saw some of his uh, channel members going over to address something to her channel, commenting in her comment section, and she basically just deleted them. He doesn't see them anymore. You know, it could just be random, but it's pretty apparent that this is something she does on a daily basis. But the biggest drama to this is basically the fact that Wander lived with her for an entire month, 30 days. And through those 30 days, he kind of describes how it was a living hell and she put him through so much. She basically kind of ruined his life and he felt very trapped every single time he was in that house. By his description, he had nothing, right? By his description, he had nothing, no home, no nothing. And yeah, it's it's pretty fucked up. You know, the, the description I'm seeing from this just purely because of her 
her and her actions. It's uh, it's pretty disgusting. He also talked about how her home was an absolute mess and just talking about how sh she recommended a therapist and the therapist recommended for him to leave and she would get mad at him saying he was taking her therapist away from her and that he's ruining everything for her. So it just got really bad. And as for Oz Media, Oz Media just talks about their perspective of it and how Oz Media was kind of this middleman for Illuminati and didn't exactly feel happy being the middleman for Illuminati. It, to put it in better perspective, Illuminati just kind of forced this guy to be this middleman for her, you know, resolve the issues for her so she doesn't have to resolve them. And Oz would just kind of handle everything for her, even though they didn't really want to do these, you know, things. And that's kind of a brief summary of kind of everything. Yeah, the, be the best way to explain it is just that she has such a big fucking ego. It's insane. I mean, it speaks in volumes. A another great example is going back to the Legal Eagle situation. She literally complains about plagiarism and how Legal Eagle is plagiarizing her work. But, in but then at the same exact time, she has plagiarized someone else's work. I mean, I'll just show you in a brief, you know, short summary of it right now. Professor Hugh Fudenberg. Professor Fudenberg has long been controversial. A man named Hugh Fudenberg, a former immunologist who has been long controversial. In 1989, he was caught up in a bizarre lawsuit involving the Food and Drug Administration, which told him he had to stop injecting his autistic child patients with blood products. In 1989, he was caught up in a bizarre lawsuit with the Food and Drug Administration, which told him he had to stop injecting his autistic patients with blood products. Then in 1995, he was suspended from practicing medicine and made to pay a $10,000 fine for his misuse and misprescribing of controlled drugs. Then in 1995, he was suspended from practicing medicine and made to pay a $10,000 fine for his misuse of prescribing controlled drugs. But yeah, obviously you can see that she does the same exact shit as any other content creator. I mean, this is actual plagiarizing, right? This is someone else's documentary. She's talking about the same exact person, same exact shit. It just basically says the same shit. So this is real plagiarizing, right? You couldn't at least come up with a better script for your own videos. You just kind of steal it from someone else. And as I I said at the original part of the video, I know a lot of people in comment sections talk about how they thought she, you know, they liked her at the start, thought she was cool. I honestly don't think she has ever been a better person, a good person. I don't think someone just overnight changes like this. I'm pretty sure she probably was like this from the fucking start. And that's not me saying that just because of the type of content she makes. Uh, I know that a lot of people who know me, I have a very strong bias against people who make quote unquote political content. I don't like it. It's pretty fucking bad. And clearly, Clearly by her, you know, channel, she just makes pretty much political content shitting on any anybody and anything that revolves around the right, the right side, you know, right wing people, which again, I find that to be annoying and just bad in general. That's not me saying she wasn't a good person at one point in time. I'm sure these content creators probably shared a very good friendship with this person and I'm not against that. I'm kind of putting my two cents in if you, if you get what I'm saying. I just don't think she was all a good person to begin with, but that again has nothing to do with the situation at hand. Just basically... She's a horrible person, right? This started off as just a goofy drama, everybody making fun of her, and it completely took a 180 and turned into like a, she actually has ruined people's lives and has hurt people along the way. I didn't expect this to come. I mean, I don't think anybody in the commentary community expected that at all, just purely because of the fact that I don't think much people know about her or some of these people. Not saying that they're irrelevant people, they're very relevant, they make very good content and, you know, gardener views, but I guess it's just because maybe it's not, you know, on the side of what people typically, you know, watch. Like, for example, I mean, more people are gonna watch fucking Sunny V2 and Jay Aubrey and, you know, the right opinion over someone like Illuminati because I feel like they talk about, you know, subjects that are a little bit more present to YouTube and not present to, like, outside of YouTube, which is what she kind of does, political stuff, right? But yeah, just to summarize it up, <laughs> Illuminati is a fucking terrible person and just a very egotistical asshole. And uh, I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on her. I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong about the part about her being a bad person from the start. Maybe you guys kind of know a little bit more about her content beforehand, but I'd love to hear about, you know, everybody else's opinion because why not? But anyways, guys, if there's anything else that comes out about the situation, I'll cover it, but I'm pretty sure this is the entire, you know, thing. This is the kind of the entire drama, but if there is anything else, I'll cover it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.